Sink will support Wilkinson! Corner coming in, head up! Welcome to this MPL Victoria 2 round number 8 clash between the Eastern Lions and Bulleen Lions. The clash of the Lions. Of course, we would usually see fights like these in zoos and things of that ilk, but of course, this clash brings us to the wonderful Gardner's Creek Reserve for this Saturday afternoon clash. We are well and truly in the winter months. It is rainy, it is windy, it's conditions, dare I say, conducive to football. A fantastic midweek win over the green over Green Gully. We'll see them with much confidence re-energized going into this clash. Bullying lines, a horrid start for them this season. Currently sitting in 13th place with only as we are about to sit to get underway. Ball swung out to the Hossai through now. The Eastern Lions are on the way to concede, and it's a wonderful defensive awareness, I think, from Hajikaku and Kentaro Oi. And unfortunately for Stefan Ristich, he couldn't strike first. And the Lions, Bulleen Lions coaching staff, are uh, certainly very displeased. And we'll, as we'll see the replay now. I'm not entirely sure if there was any foul there. I think he just lost his footing. Head to it. Lots. Ristich with a strike! The last touch came off an Eastern Lions defender, and now be a corner for Bulleen. And they'll send up the tall timber, the form. In central for Golding. Vigieta swings it across to the right to find Sam Oritz. Looking for a loop and to the back post near Gorium, looking to get a head on. Although he gave away the free kick in the motion. Oi. Playing as a left back today, so it's quite unorthodox for him, although... Also poking it through for the Ristic. Onto his left, Stefan Ristic. And it's saved by Hajikaku. Crossfield ball out to Orit. Who gets the first touch so eloquently. Golding. Now Fabris. Orit. Poking it through for Pisoni. Gaining charity, looking to with, 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 near Gorian with a bicycle kick make makeshift, should I say? Now Fujieda, and uh, cleared away by Ivan Gergic. We saw Anthony Frangi's bicycle kick earlier this week. I'm sure that would have given him some competition. Cross out to the far post. All right, looking to get it in the way near Gorian. The final touch doesn't come. It falls for the Easter Lions. The goal arriving. It did so. So eloquently. And the Eastern Lions take the lead. Through their main man. Milo B and Milo Bassoni. It wasn't easy and it's reflective of the conditions here. But they strike first blood this afternoon. Following some very incisive play on the wings. Much needed confidence for Chris Gretchen and his coaching staff. The page now to Golding, onto his left. And shapes it up to Fujieda. Now Bissoni. Golding couldn't get the first touch. And picked up by Tom Golding again. Nice interplay with Andrew LePage. Rolling it out to Sam Orrett. We'll have to get across it. He goes to strike. Wonsuk Choi got the punch and now catches it on second attempt. And in fact, he did step out of play. So a very, I want to say, childhood mistake from Wonsuk Choi to step out of play. And he gives away probably a needless corner. Intercepting. Now Fujieda. Almost roll across and he's brought down by Luke Pavlu and no free kick awarded. Now Ristich in central for lots. Ricky Foster Hossai rolling across to Westerdale, who couldn't quite poke at home. But a golden opportunity for Bulleen to square the ledger and goes astray. Minor lapse in concentration from the Eastern Lions defence. 
Sweet Falls right centrally for Tom Golding. Seemed to loop in the air. Now the ball looped over the cross, over the top. Barashayo. Now Oi. And Barashayo again. Now to the right. And Carlton Westdale is free on his right hand side. He's, oh, he slipped. Oh my goodness. Would you believe it? The Eastern Lions coaching staff <laughs> are enthused. Boleyn have just thrown, I think, some clipboards or something down on the bench. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. It is unbelievable. Carlton Westerdale has just slipped and given what would be a surefire shot on target or perhaps a goal away as the Eastern Lions look to swing it forward. Now Golding on this right-hand channel. On the perimeter is Tom Golding, the New, Ze New Zealander. Biding his time and rolling it out to Militado. Now out to Fabris. Orit. Poking out to Militado. Now Sim. He bobs it up to Katara Oi. Now to Fujieda. Bissoni. Militado. Fabris, back out to Nathan Sim. Roglin across to Oi. Now Fujieda. Golding on this left-hand channel, looking to cut inside. Now out to Fujieda. Golding again, centrally for LePage. This is some great interplay, Neogorian. Now to LePage! Near post! Have some of that! The Easter Lions are two up against Boleyn. And it's two and two for Andrew LePage. Struck it beautifully with the right foot. And that's as easy as you like for the Eastern Lions, who have been knocking on the door ever since they scored their first. And that Carlton Westerdale slip is, is most likely going to be the turning point in this match. Excellent purchase from LePage, who's a, is a man reborn in a more attacking position. Chit on the byline. Now to Golding on this left-hand channel. Essentially for LePage. Golding again. He's driving through onto his right. He's sending players left and right. And in fact, he earns a side the corner. Beautiful technical. Hanji Kaku getting in the way. And what a stellar performance he's put in today. I'd say he's probably the man of the match, in my opinion. Young keepers doing things. It's great to see. And, in, and with a distribution like that, just duly deserved. Golding. Stunning run. Looking to poke it through to Andrew LePage. Brilliant football from the Easter Lions. And it's Carter Ramsey who finishes it off. And the play started with the keeper. It ended with the substitute. It's excellent from Golding. It's excellent from LePage. It's excellent from the Easter Lions. Remarkable stuff. Ramsey off the bench. And it's 3 0 to the Eastern Lions. That's his fourth goal of the season and his first here at uh, Gardner's Creek. All of the others have come away from home. There you go. Hearing cameraman Ian <laughs> with the interjection and, and, dare I say, very important. And Andrew LePage has put in a fantastic shift as well this afternoon. What a performance this has been from the Eastern Lions from, from start to finish. And it started with Tom Golding, I must say, who got such a fantastic first touch and even Haji Kaku. It, it's really remarkable to see the performance this afternoon. And I say there's a few more in them. Misplaced time sees Golding now on the perimeter. Onto his left, Tom Golding! What a save from Wonsuk Choi. Again for Militaru. Tom Golding is everywhere today. <laughs> Remarkable. So we've got Jack Camper and Eddie Wilkinson coming on. Ramsey. Golding. So eloquently turns away. Tom Golding still going. Golding with a strike. Saved by Wunsuk Choi. That is a technical masterclass. I'm not sure if he knows that his parents are... At, uh, he would, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he drove me here today, so... Yeah, yeah. Well, there you go. That is 
Now poking it across to Eddie Wilkinson, who's in space. He needs options, though, does the Kiwi, and does well to evade that first challenge. Wilkinson still ongoing. Rolling it centrally for Tom Golding! Deflected away for a corner. And that would cap off what has been, I'm now going to say, the matter of the match. From Tom Golding. Wow. Now cleared away and Tom Golding is away. He's got options to his left and right. And also go to the left in space and Nikudis strikes with the left foot. And it's saved by Wonsuk Choi. On the far side. Oi, not in the box this time. <laughs> now to the far post, Militaru! Didn't quite drop for the former Box Hill United midfielder. Now Choi. Flash clear. It's finding the feet of Tom Golding. Everything sticks to his right foot. Golding now looking to poke it through to Ramsey. What a through ball that is. And what a finish. No. Oh my word. Hachikaku clears long. Looking for Carter Ramsey. And Bioshire will have to give chase. Wilkinson lurking, certainly. Once Sook Choi does get it clear. Pavlu. Now to Tom Golding. Doesn't even challenges. And now Eddie Wilkins on the right foot. A curling effort is sublime. The East Alliance get their fourth. And it's Eddie Wilkinson who really scores bangers after bangers. And even Stephen Hadjikak has come up to celebrate. Four of the best from the Lions. And we will see another change now. I think Gregory Zacharias is going to come on for some defensive reinforcements. Up at 4-0. I'm not sure if they'll quite need that, but there you go. Eddie Wilkinson with the curling effort and two goals from two substitutes. What a day it's been for Chris Gretchen and his men. And uh, Kintara Oye will, will come off and what will be, I think, Eastern Lions' first clean sheet at home this season. Uh, yeah. Golding poking it through. Could it be five? Surely not. Wilkinson, he's onside. Could he poke it through? Pass, Wonsuk Choi! Oh, side netting for Eddie Wilkinson. Dante Conta, wow. I'd say he's, uh, he's an adversary. <laughs> Got involved. All right. And that is full time here at Garners Creek Reserve. What a week for this football club. The Eastern Lions are victorious against the Bullying Lions. A clean sheet, four goals. One from Ramsey, one from Wilkinson, one from the page, and one from Bissoni. Sealed the points as the Eastern Lions will, will go home very happy this afternoon.